Hello, this is Mike Vogt from Ally Electronics Technical Support. Um, today's technical service bulletin will be changing next-gen Ethernet settings uh, via, via Ethernet connection. Um, there's an assumption that must be made that the individual performing the following procedure has acquired some basic understanding of next-gen and the Andy DGS utility. Um, if you're running PCI software, which would be 5000 series or greater, you're going to have to be create um, admin credentials, so you have to be logged on as an administrator to perform these functions. If you're connecting with a laptop uh, directly to the next gen, you would use a crossover cable, so don't try to use a regular Cat5 if you're coming right out of your laptop to, to the next gen, you need a crossover cable. Um, otherwise, if you don't have a crossover cable, what you could do is just use a network hub, and that would work as well. So we're going to connect to 10.0.1.59, that's their IP address of this box. And once you connect, um, you'll be prompted for your username and password. So you type that in. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on your utilities tab. Then right here, you're going to click on CF Access. And then this box will pop up. Um, so what we did here is we, we typed in 10.0.0.100 and 255, 255, for the subnet mask and 10.0.0.1. So the IP address is the most critical one and then you're going to match the subnet mask of your network and your the gateway address. Once you're finished, you just click apply changes and then you'll X out of that. And then you click on the reset command and it'll have warm start and you'll click OK. The box will reset. Once the box resets, the new IP address will take effect. Um, that's it for today. Um, thank you for uh, listening to me.